Today we're going to take a quick look at how to find some journal articles using the Ashland University Library. So from the Ashland University homepage, we're going to go up here and click on this yellow University Quick Links, and we'll find Library under Academics. So when I'm looking for journal articles, generally databases are going to be the best place for me to look. That's where most of them can be located. So I clicked on databases there on the home page, and anytime you're starting any kind of research, you can always start with Academic Search Complete because this is a database with information on all different disciplines, and it does contain over 8,000 journals, so there's a lot of information to be accessed there. So I'm going to put in a keyword, and today I am interested in searching for Harry Potter. So I can see I have quite a few results for Harry Potter, 4,813. So I'm going to take a look over here on the left-hand side, and I can see that there are several different kinds of source types in here. So there are articles coming from different types of publications. For our purposes today, I'm interested in academic journals. So I'm going to click that, and that takes all of the other types out. So everything we're looking at is academic journals now. And I also noticed that this range of publication dates is pretty wide, and I'm thinking I'm more interested in some recent scholarship on Harry Potter. So I'm going to put in 2014 on that starting date, and now I'm down to 48 results. This is a very manageable list, so I can go ahead and start looking through these and see um, which of these are going to be the most useful for my research. And a good way to do that is to hover over this magnifying glass where I can see that there's an abstract here, which is a summary of the article. That's going to help me decide whether or not that's going to be relevant for my research. And then I also see that some of these have this full text finder, some have the PDF full text, and there are even others that have this request this item through interlibrary loan. So when you have the PDF full text like this one, you would just click on that link and that PDF will open right up and there is your full text of your journal article. The full text finder, on the other hand, indicates that we do have access to the article, but it's not in this particular database, so it's linking you between. So let's click on one of these and try it. So here's another link. It says find full text, so that sounds like a good place to go. And right here is the PDF. So I am ready to read it or save it, whichever I want to do. The last case scenario that could happen is this request the item through interlibrary loan. This means that the library does not have access to the item, but we are able to get it if you've started your research early enough. If you click on this link, you can just fill out the form with the information about the article and with your information, and we will see if we can borrow that from another library in Ohio and and we will get back to you on that. Keep in mind that the turnaround time can be anywhere from a couple days to a couple weeks, so make sure you start your, your research early just in case you find that perfect article that we don't have immediate access to. And one way to keep a little bit organized when you're looking for your journal articles is that as you go through your list, when you identify ones that you like, you can click on that blue folder and you can see over here that this folder is getting populated with your items. So now I have a couple of those in there. I'm going to click on Folder View, and I can select all of those. And when I'm doing research, I like to email them to myself, so I click on this email. I just plug in my email address, and it's going to send the PDF, if there is one there, attached to the email. If not, you'll get a link that will take you back to the database so that you can click on that full text finder. So I would click send, and all my articles would be on their way into my inbox. So that's just a quick overview of finding journal articles using Academic Search Complete. If you have questions, please feel free to come to the reference desk, send us an email, a text, or give us a call.